former CEO of the Anita Borg Institute. But one of the things I'm most proud of right now is that I'm also a board member of AI for All. And I'm talking with Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Telly. It's so good to be here. Hi, I'm the CEO of AI for All. Super excited to be here. Well, so why don't you tell us a little bit about why you're so excited about AI for All? Yeah, well, AI is this really important technology that is really, truly shaping the future of our society. It's used almost every day by most people, and it's getting embedded into our daily lives invisibly, um, determining what news we see, what music we listen to, what movies we watch, and impacting almost every industry. But what I'm most excited about is how AI can help solve big problems facing the world, like climate change or healthcare um, or education. And so we need to make sure that AI is accessible to everyone and that it's representative of our complex and diverse society in terms of who's shaping and building it. I think that will ensure that we have the, the outcome that is exciting in terms of where AI can go and its positive potential. Well, one of the things that I really appreciate is that AI for All was founded and they currently have board members of some really top-notch AI researchers, including Fei-Fei Li from Stanford and Olga Rosakowski from Princeton. I do think it's important for women to be part of this different um, future. And uh, I see women participating in all kinds of different ways. Why don't you tell us some of these people that you see? Yeah, so um, some of the really exciting researchers, aside from those that you mentioned, are Timit Gibru and Joy Bulamwini, for example, and they worked on some really important research called gendershades.org, and you can check it out. It's basically looking at facial recognition technology and how it was actually shown to be biased against people of color and women. And this is really groundbreaking research that they're doing to make sure that AI is used ethically and responsibly, and that it doesn't impact certain groups differently than others. And so that's one of the other things that's really exciting about AI is how it's not only a technology that you can be part of building, but it has all these ethical questions that we need to be asking about how to use it well and how to apply it in the right ways. Well, that's why I think AI is so interesting because it is, there's image processing, there is robotics. There's all these things that we know about today, self-driving cars, I'm sure you've heard about it. But what about tomorrow? I mean, 10 years from now, AI is going to be part of every aspect of our lives. And that's why we need you to be there. Absolutely. AI needs your perspective. It needs to have people from all different backgrounds, all different passions, um, focused on solving different types of problems with this technology. AI can really be rocket fuel for solving problems, but you should be deciding what problems get solved.